Hello everyone, it's Eki Obujo here, and I am finally back with a new video for you guys. I want to say, first of all, that I'm sorry it has been so long. It has been months, and um, long story short, I went for a routine checkup at the dentist. I had a small cavity. My dentist wasn't there that day, so I had some absolute monster um fill in for her and she was very rough. She over drilled my filling and I ended up with an infection in my jaw and I was in excruciating pain for months, like pretty much the entire summer and it hurt to even speak. So I haven't been able to make videos for you guys. I haven't really done many um, Instagram stories simply because I haven't been able to speak. Um, I ended up having to have that tooth pulled, which was annoying, but it was a back molar. So I guess not a huge deal, but it's just completely due to her, um, ridiculousness. So that's all taken care of. I'm not in any pain anymore, but I have been super busy because I'm a teacher and school started for the fall and my brother just had his first baby. So I've spent a lot of time driving and trying to see my nephew and working and all of that. But the one thing that has stayed with me the whole time is planning. I haven't stopped planning, but I have really changed what I'm doing. Um, and that's why I'm here today because I want to update you guys. So I have been using my Vanderspeck pocket rings for quite a while now. I absolutely love them. I have them in four colors now. And my newest thing was not really wanting to use the rings anymore. So I took the rings out of, well, first I took the rings out of my cheaper um, Moterm planners from AliExpress and Amazon just to see how this was going to go. And I really, really liked it. So I bit the bullet and I took the rings out of this Vanderspeck. And that is what I am here to show you. So right off the bat... It's nice and sleek, right? I was using a moleskin pocket planner. Um, so basically guys, when, and this might be obvious, but I'm just going to say it. So when you have rings in a planner, the planner itself, the leather, it ends up being extra wide because you have to have enough room for the size sheets that need to go in it plus the rings. So when you take the rings out, you've got all this extra room. So I was putting in a pocket moleskin because I wanted to be just in one notebook. I don't like the traveler's notebook thing where you've got all these different elastics. I just wanted to be in one thing. So um, that was working, but I had all this extra room because the rings were gone and it just, I felt like I could utilize the space a little better. So on Amazon, they had um, Stalogy in the size A6 on sale for like 15 bucks. So I bought one and it is perfect in here. I was using binder clips, um, clipped to the leather right here, uh, to hold it in, but actually just, and that was working fine. But just the other night I did something that might seem a little extreme to some, but I cut a little strip off of the bottom here because when you put the Stalogy in the secretarial pocket back here, it would make it stick up too high because you've got the stitches and all of that. So cutting out this little strip, it makes it perfect so that it nestles in here and it falls exactly where it needs to fall, not too high. So it's like flush at the top and flush at the bottom um, perfectly. So I have that little strip <laughs> I have it um, tucked away in here. So I plan to, um, when I'm done with this Stalogy, just use uh, like packing tape and tape this back on. So it'll be clear. I have packing tape over it anyways, which I'm going to go over. Um, but that way, like it won't look ridiculous when I have this on a shelf. So <clears throat> let's get into it. 
If you want to know where something is and I'm not able to mention it, just comment or message me on Instagram and I will let you know. Um, I'm not super great at remembering shops because I tend to buy things in bulk and then go a really long time without buying anything. Um, so I just, I don't always remember. I apologize. But um, this this and this are all from Lazni Korea, and that is pretty much the only shop I'm buying from at this point. I absolutely adore everything from her. Um, these vinyls were, um, they weren't originally available in this opal hollow, but all I did was message her and she didn't charge me any extra. She did a special order for me and printed them up in that vinyl. So I'm absolutely in love. Um, I have this here and I'm not a super Halloween person, but I shouldn't say that. I have always been very anti-Halloween. I just think it's really like an obnoxious day. And I, well, I hate spiders and I think like everything that has to do with like guts and spider webs and blood, like, ugh, it's just... It's not for me, but there has been a huge movement this year in the planner world towards pastel Halloween, and I'm actually seeing some really cute things, um, especially from Lasney Kriya, so I had to. Um, I got this adorable die cut, the little witch hat, and um, the bat skull and the skull bow. So I thought those were really cute and I plan on keeping these year round, but I did have them on my moleskin and I was able to easily peel them off and reapply them to the Stalogy. So, um, they do come right off if you want to switch them out. So, um, in the front pocket, I have what I've been keeping. Um, I've got my little in case of emergency card with numbers on the back and the little picture of my dog, Kevin. Um, and just a calendar that I made myself, a um, lunar calendar, and this cute little doily that I trimmed down to just um, make it pretty. Okay. And, all right, actually, before I get into the stalogy itself, I want to show you guys. I took out the Krauss rings that were in this planner, but I left this part. This is glued in and I did not want to have to cut the lining in the back pocket and go through all of that. And I wanted the option to add rings again in the future. So I left this here. I have this piece of um, jelly vinyl. I bought a huge pack on Amazon for like 15 bucks a long time ago. And I have made so many different things out of this stuff. It is a lifesaver. You can use it for so many different things. So, um, I have it tucked in here and I just put some of my favorite washi tape on to cover up <clears throat> the super obvious metal. But I think what I'm going to do is also order another pack on Amazon because I really like the black vinyl and you probably wouldn't even really be able to see anything through it. So I wouldn't have to keep washi here, but right now this is what I'm doing and it's working really well. I wanted, I changed my mind a lot. I, and a lot of you might be able to relate. Um, when it comes to your planners, you kind of go through phases and everything seems to be cyclical. So when you make a change, that doesn't mean you're not going to come back to it. Um, you might go right back to where you started and that's always a nice option. So on the inside here, what I did was I tried to not completely kill my pocket rings, but just pull what was absolutely essential for me. Again, I want to be able to go back to that without having to start over from scratch. So the first thing that I always do when I buy die cuts or print die cuts is laminate them. Um, I usually use, and here's a scrap right here. So I usually use this jelly vinyl to make my dashboards in my pocket rings. And then I um, use the little roll-on adhesive to put my die cuts on it because you can peel it on and off a, a thousand times and move it around anywhere you want. So 
that's why I laminate them. <clears throat> so for deco in this Stalogy, I have taken my favorite washi tapes and just, um, I decided to go vertical this time. I usually go horizontal, but I wanted to be able to not um, overwhelm the crease here because I wanted my Stalogy to like close nicely. So I used all my favorite washi and, you know, put it down in strips, trim the edges, whatever. And then I used clear packing tape over it so that it is, it's nice and shiny now and it's almost like laminating it. So when I put these die cuts on, I can move them. I get my nail under it. I can move them anytime I want. I can change them out. I can um, change where they are and uh, I could put them back in my pocket rings if I wanted. So the Stalogy will always be decorated by the washi tape, but the die cuts are um, something that can be changed, which is really nice. So I did this in the front and I did the same thing in the back, which you can't really see all of it now. I might prioritize, reprioritize and move some of these over because I really like these. Um, but I tried to go with more pinks in the back, purples in the front. And just pull all of my favorite elements out of my pocket rings because I love them. Like, planning is about function, but if you don't want to open it, you're not going to use it. And for me, like, I need it to be cute. I need to, you know, be able to just look at it and go, ha, ah, I love this. Um... And these are things that I've collected over time for my pocket rings, and I don't want to live without them. And I certainly don't want to buy them twice. That is not something I'm looking to do. So, going forward here, I have right now sticky notes right here. I plan on putting a year at a glance for 2019 here and 2020 here. I think I'm just going to print them because that's really not something I enjoy doing by hand, bullet journal style but I just haven't gotten around to it yet. So, um, I am going to flash in my calendar real quick, but I've got like my bills on it and stuff. So it's just going to be real quick. So I'm drawing out my months. There's September and I still have to decorate October and put the dates on it and everything. But I spent some time yesterday going through and drawing out the months. Um, I'm not super worried about it cause I don't use my monthlies a ton unless I don't have weeklies already made up for it and I'm good right now. So, um, again, I have to see my nephew later, which is awesome, but I'm hoping sometime this weekend to get these filled out at least, um, through the end of this year, make them pretty, get my pay periods on there and all of that. So, um, I mapped out, I just used pencil and write the month here and make sure I have enough room and then get into my weeklies. So the Stalogy is the Stalogy 365. So it has enough pages to do dailies for a year, but it doesn't have enough pages to um, do like monthlies and weeklies and dailies. So for me, I have really transitioned away from my dailies because I just, I don't need all that room most days. Um, so I've been doing weeklies and I really love it. So, um, I went back and I put in from July because I had like, I wanted to do the 18 months and it would have been like a weird amount of pages left at the end if I didn't go back and like fill this in. So the only section I don't have filled in right now is my weekly review. Um, which I usually use for what I'm currently watching, like with my husband on TV and, um, what I'm reading. And I have all those details in my pocket rings. Um, but I just haven't gotten them out and filled them in yet. So I use, um, just a basic gel pen to like make the borders of all of my days. And then I use two different markers. Sometimes I use a mild liner. Um, but a lot of times I just use my Crayola Super Tips and I like the look that I get from using two colors. And, um, yeah, it's real simple. It doesn't take long. So, you know, this is my current week and, um, going forward, I have them mapped out here. I don't know. I haven't decided if I'm going to keep this as a weekly review 
I might do like some Zen tangles. I might add a tracker or something there. Um, so that's why I don't pre-label them. But yeah, I got myself up to week 40, the beginning of October, and then I'll map some more out. Um, I have a ton of pages and, um, I didn't, I didn't even count these out guys. This is like way more than enough. All I did was I started from the back. I always make my pen test page my last page. And I think I counted like, I don't know, 25 pages maybe, um, for lists. And, um, I just have to copy my lists over things like nail polish and all of that. Um, I am going to do an updated setup, so when I get my monthlies done and my lists in here, I will do a video where it's just, um, just what's in the Stalogy. I'm not going to go through how I put the whole system together. Um, that's more about, or that's more what this video is about, but, um, I pulled this from my pocket rings and I haven't even bothered covering up the holes. Like, it doesn't bother me. So this I had marking my current month. So I have it marking my current month in my Stalogy. And this was a um, little dashboard that I made uh, out of my washi scraps. So when you do something like this, you're going to have um, edges of the washi that you're trimming off. I like to keep them if it's pretty washi and make it's like a kind of like a stained glass look. So I had this in my pocket rings and it has this adhesive pen loop on the back. So I like to keep two pens on me because I use them both so much. Um, this particular planner, I don't know why, the pen loop is a lot tighter on this purple one than my other Vanderspecs. So um, I keep this one in here because I use it less. I don't have to slide it in and out as much. Um, so I took um, a favorite die cut and these also that I didn't really have room for anywhere else. And I stuck them on here because again, this is laminated so I can, and these are laminated so I can move them around as much as they want. And um, I'm using this to mark my current week. So we'll pop this right here. And that is that. Um, I've still got the big back pocket going on. I've got um, stickers. It's mostly what's back here. So I've got this cute little um, pocket set from Grumpy Bear stickers. And um, this is just a little folder that I made out of some extra paper. And I keep my Lazmi Kriya stickers in here. So I use these teeny tiny little micro stickers um, to like fill the white space each day on my weeklies. So I have a bunch of those cute little coffee cups, bow clips, and reading and shopping. Because that's really all I do. I read, I shop, I plan, and I work. <laughs> and I sleep. That's pretty much it. That's my whole life. But I'm happy with it. And I have <clears throat> this cute little thing I've had forever. Um, don't touch my planner muggle. And I have this RFID card sleeve on the back. I used packing tape to tape it down real well. And um, I, I was using my planner as a wallet, but I got real bulky because I use cash mostly. It helps me not spend as much. So um, the way that I have my planner in my bag, though, it stands upright like vertically. So a lot of times I will take my bank card if I know I'm going to be using it that day and I will slip it in this little card sleeve and then I can just reach into my purse and pull it out. I don't have to take out my whole wallet and it's nice and snug. It's not going anywhere and nobody can read it with one of those little scanners because it's in this little protective sleeve. So that's just a little hack that I have that I really enjoy. And that is it guys. That's my current setup. It's super snug. Um, I know that my Stalogy is going to fatten up because it's going to be 18 months, just like the pocket moleskin I was using. So it will get me from July to the end of this year and then all through 2020. Now, we'll see. I would really love 
to be able to stick with this and fill up the whole thing. I think that'd be really satisfying, but I life's too short to force myself to do something I'm not enjoying. So we'll see. We'll see what next year brings. But right now I'm really loving this. And I have to say, um, Stalogy is worth the hype. It's really nice. I love that the paper is like that stark white. It takes ink really well, much better than the moleskin paper. Um, and it's not as thin and crinkly as the Tomo River paper, but it is still thin. Um, I found in my Hobonichi weeks a couple years ago that I would accidentally skip pages because they were stuck together and the paper so thin I didn't even notice. I don't find that happening in my Stalogy. So, um, I mean, bullet journal style, you gotta set it up yourself. You gotta make it what you want it to be, but then it's exactly what you've been looking for. Um, it's really nice. It's got that soft cover and, um, I think it's totally worth it. I think it lives up to the hype. So let me know what you guys think. Have I completely lost my mind <laughs> or am I onto something here? Um, like I showed you, I did keep that metal track in the spine here so that I can add my rings again if I want to. Um, but I'm pretty committed. I really, I am itching to pull the rings out of my other Vander Specs because I love to switch out the leather. Um, and I have the Touch Me Pearl. Um, and it's gorgeous. I just got it. It's one of the new colors and they're so affordable. The touch me line is crazy affordable. It is half the price of what you would pay for a custom. Um, and it, it gets you to like less than 120 us dollars when all is said and done. And that's with shipping that will get it to you in like three to five days from Europe. It's really impressive. It gets here super fast. Um, and the quality is just so nice. I have a Jillio and I prefer Vanderspecs. Um, I just, I love them. I think they're a little bit nicer. Jillio's nice, but I really truly feel that Vanderspec is nicer, um, at least in my opinion. So that might be my next thing, guys. When I make my next video, I might be in a different color Vanderspec because I am dying to pull the rings out of my other ones and uh, start swapping in and out. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm sorry again that it's been so long, but I'm okay now. I feel great and um, I'm, I'm still planning and things are changing and it's exciting. So I definitely plan on making more videos. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing and send me a message if you have any questions about anything that you saw. Thanks guys. Bye-bye.